Hello, welcome to another video on my favorite book. This is one of my favorite magazine for sure and hands down my favorite blade cover done by Ken Barr. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous drawing, okay? Just look at that. Love it. And the inside is phenomenal, phenomenal. Even the pin up on the interior. Perhaps I need to do a um, artist spotlight on Vincent Alcazar. One of these tables. Just look at that. Gorgeous. Right off the bat, you have an awesome story of Morbius drawn by Sonny Trinidad. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. Another artist that perhaps deserve an artist spotlight because this is hands down one of my favorite Morbius drawn story. Just look at the details. Just stay at that picture for a little bit. I don't have a lot of work of Sunny. That's why I have not done an the Spotlight yet. But I just love, love his work. Definitely a hidden gem for many people that don't collect magazine or read magazine. Just look at that. As I have always uh, harp on, okay, is when you look at the, uh, the the way artists draw the folds of the clothing, that says a lot about the attention to details. It's a lot easier to draw round muscle trust me for those that understand drawing okay it's a lot easier to draw this a lot easier and faster to draw this than to draw a coat with a lot of wrinkles And it's also not easy to draw landscape. At least for me, when I was going uh, through art classes, the few that I took in college, I find that you know drawing people is easy compared to drawing many other things. What makes this magazine special is that every story is beautifully drawn. That's why it's one of my favorite, no doubt. Usually, you know, in many magazines that I have, you know, you may have one or two good ones and then one or two not so great. But this one is special. Hopefully I'm going at the right pace, not too slow, not too fast, just enough for people to enjoy the art. Look at that.
beautiful angle right there. Look at that. How about this panel? Just love this transformation right here. Well done. Look at that. Beautiful. Once again. I can spend a lot of time, but here is, is the other gem, Gene Colon, all mine. I need no introduction here. When it come down to Gene Colon, I prefer this style more than anything else. You know, as uh, Jorge pointed out in uh, many of his comments, that you know Gene Colon had that dreamy like quality to his drawing and. When he draw and pencil this style, you can see that dreamy like look. Just look at that. Love it. I absolutely love Gene Colon in this style even more than the way uh, he pencil and ink by um, the great Tom Palmer. But just look at this. I prefer this style over all of his other style. And you can only see this style in black and white magazine. Just look at this. Next up, my plug. Now you see why this magazine is so special and one of my favorite. My plug. Just look at this. Teaming with Mary Severin. Gorgeous work. That has almost a Storanko like style Maurice Maurice Severin is such an incredible anchor you know so underappreciated look at that that's beautiful plug penciling and clean sharp inking just look at that When I bought this book, I bought it for the cover. I have no idea what was inside. But the moment that I got it and opened it up and peer inside, OMG. It quickly jumped right into my top list of favorite magazines.
What do you think? Last page of the Mike Brooks story. Last but not least, Val Mayorick. Look at this. Just look at this beautiful drawn face right here. If you like this Val Mayorick drawing. Hopefully, you go and take a look at the artist spotlight I did. I did two videos recently on Val Mayorick. So, you can go and check out more of his work. Just look at that. Once again, just incredible amount of details in the folds of the clothing. Check out this beautiful panel right here. And that, my friend, is the end. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you enjoy this magazine, because it's one of my favorite.